MP is asking the government for more than £200 million to improve flood defences around the Humber. 1,100 homes in the area were flooded during the tidal surge in December. The MP for Holton Price and Howden, David Davis, is lobbying the government to provide money for work on the defences. Kate Sweeting reports. For John and Liz Kirk from Yokefleet in East Yorkshire, this caravan is now home. Now after 11 weeks, it's just, you know, really depressing now and, um, you know, it gets you down after, after all this time. 1,100 homes in the Humber area were flooded during December's tidal surge. Now with predictions that extreme weather will become more common, there are calls for the East Coast to be better protected. With the second highest flood risk in the country, that's going to get worse. As sea levels go up, then we're going to get more and more risk like this and we have to do something about it. The plan is to raise the height of parts of the riverbank which protect thousands of homes from flooding but which were overtopped during December's tidal surge. There are also plans to create water holding areas and to remove some flood defences to allow some areas to flood. This has already been done in Oakborough, Hall and Donnanook albeit amid controversy, as many didn't want to see that land lost. All of this work would cost more than £200 million, money which would largely have to come from the government. It's a big project. We're, we're looking forward um, 20 years from now, but it's a very important area, very valuable assets, and so it's right to invest um, a large amount of money in such an important area. If it's not done, all this land will be just reclaimed. Uh, nature will just take its own back again, won't it, Unle unless you fight it. Liz and John hope to stay in this village for the rest of their lives, and it's hoped if this work is carried out, it will also be saved for future generations. Kate Sweeting, BBC Look North in Yokefleet.